bringing you the news and information you need from the people making a difference. This is Comcast Newsmakers. In a crisis situation, did you know there is a 24-hour referral line here in New Jersey to help women in need? Well, that's what we're talking about today. Hello and thank you for joining us. I'm Jamie Lindrohan and you are watching Comcast Newsmakers. This hour's newsmaker is Janice Kovach, Director of the Department of Community Affairs Division on Women. And today we're talking about the Women's Referral Hotline. Thank you for joining us, Janice. Welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. Thank you for having me. Great to see you again. Uh, talk to us about this hotline, this referral center. How did it come about? It came about, um, there's always been a need. Women are the ones who tend to call when some, they need to get something for themselves, for their family member, mm -hmm. and you wind up calling a lot of different places and get bounced around. So what we had talked about was creating a, a one-stop shop okay. that they could get basic information that they need, they get the referrals, they're not actually getting um, the individuals from whatever services they might need, but right. they get the right phone numbers, they get the right person possibly to contact or websites to go to, mm -hmm. and it's one place and it's 24 by 7, and it's a live person that answers the phone. It's not, you know, a menu pressing that they have to go through. Okay, so this is 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. Absolutely. And there's always someone at the other end of the phone. Yes, there is. Okay, now where did this idea come about? Um, I came about a number of years ago, and as they were trying to find a way to, to centralize, and we've created an online resource guide for women at the division okay. on our website, but this gives someone the ability to make the phone call, to have a live conversation, and they determined that the need was there, and it, we have a program that's offered to house it for us. Mm -hmm. It's located down South Jersey. They do a phenomenal job. They're also a program that services um, others, other women in need. So it was a, a perfect fit. Well, let's take a look at the areas that you do cover for sure. women here in New Jersey. Uh, basic needs, health, substance abuse, uh, domestic violence, employment, and social services. So while our viewers are taking a look at that on the screen, why don't we talk about basic needs? What, what type of basic needs do we have? We have food banks, clothing, exactly. shelters. You know, someone calls and they're not quite sure where to go, especially in times now. Mm -hmm. You know, we find that food banks are being utilized much yeah. more frequently. Um, places for clothing, people either want to donate or need clothing for their, their children or themselves. Mm -hmm. So this is a place that they can call. We keep all of our records updated. So and everything's confidential. Everything is confidential. Information is never shared or sold. So when someone calls us, whatever information we gather is kept strictly um, within our program. Okay. And then they can refer them to the appropriate places. So if they need to know where the local food bank is or the hours of the local mm -hmm. food bank, you know, they have that opportunity to call and reach out. Now, is this a full-time staff that's working there and answering these phones, or do you need volunteers? It is a full-time staff. Mm -hmm. They are trained. Okay. Um, these individuals not only answer these calls, but they also answer crisis calls for okay. the domestic violence program. So they are trained professionals who can, you know, answer almost anything. Okay, and that number is 1-800-322-8092. Yes. Now, what message do you have for the women watching right now? If you need something, if you are either afraid to call or don't know where to call, call the hotline. They will absolutely get you to the place that you need, to the person that you need to talk to. It is confidential yeah. and it's so important, um, especially in times like this. Now, this, this hotline, is it only for women or could oh, a absolutely man not. call I mean, in? Absolutely not. A man could call in. Okay. We tend to make it about the women, one, because we're the division on women, yeah, yeah. and also because women are the ones that wind up calling. They're the ones making the phone calls for themselves, for their family members, for friends. But you'll never turn anyone away. We never turn anyone away, no. Okay, so I mean, you really cover the bases here. Basic needs, including food banks, clothing, shelter shelters, utility assistance, health, mm -hmm. uh, and health, that's a really big concern here in New Jersey. Talk to us about that. Healthcare, absolutely. It, it gets them to either appropriate centers, yeah. whether they're the, um, the Medi-Merge centers, mm -hmm. to the hospitals, where they can go, who they can contact to, if they need assistance. So help is only really a phone call away. It really is only a phone call away. Well, thank you so much for sharing that with us here on Comcast Newsmakers. Best of luck to you. Thank you. This hour's newsmaker has been Janice Kovach, Director of the Department of Community Affairs Division on Women. And I'm Jamie Lindrohan for Comcast Newsmakers, seen exclusively here on Comcast Cable, on air, online, and on demand. For more news and information, you can join us online at cn8.tv.
bringing you the news and information you need from the people making a difference. This is Comcast Newsmakers. My next guest invites you to grab the girls and network with other great women here in the state of New Jersey. Hello and thanks for joining us. I'm Jamie Lynn Drohan and you, my friend, are watching Comcast Newsmakers. This hour's newsmaker is Janice Kovach, Director of the Department of Community Affairs Division on Women. And today we're talking about the Women's Conference here in New Jersey. Thank you for joining us. Great to see you again. It's nice to see you as well. Well, this women's conference, first of all, when does it take place? May 12th of 2009. Mm -hmm. I see. And what is it all about? Just celebrating women here in New Jersey? It really is. It's about celebrating women. It's about empowering women. It's about networking to meet other women mm -hmm. in this great state. Uh, we've been doing it for the past couple of years. Last year was the first year we held it in Atlantic City, and we had 1,500 women in attendance at the convention center for and our conference. You also had uh, two very famous honorary hosts. You had uh, Susie Orman and Joan London yes. in attendance. It was phenomenal. Joan spoke in the morning and Susie spoke in the afternoon and it truly had the women energized and excited and they're still talking about it to this day. And then talk to us about how this conference really does inspire women here in New Jersey. It, it, it does because we have panels and we bring in speakers who are the women in New Jersey. So we have uh, members of the legislature. Mm -hmm. We have women in business who are in the corporate world who are in their own business. We have women in not-for-profit. Anyone and everyone is invited to participate. Uh, we make it an interactive so that during the sessions the women can ask questions okay. and talk to the, the panelists at the end and really make it about everything that you could ever want to know. And it's about finding your passion because mm -hmm. that's really what we do and how we want to be involved. And once you find your passion, it makes all the difference. And you cover everything from finance to health to leadership, uh, entrepreneurship here in New Jersey. And we bring in the legislators to talk about, you know, politics and policies of New Jersey. Okay. So it is. It's a, it's a great time. We have we start the night before with a reception. Yeah. And last year we had about 600 women attend the reception. We took over the hotel. Okay. And what day does this take place on? The actual the reception is the 11th, and the conference is May 12th. Okay. Is that a Friday, Saturday? It's a, I believe, Monday, Tuesday. Okay. All right. So you can make a long weekend of it. Grab your mom, grab your sister, grab your girlfriends. Yes. Okay. And it's a great time. We really have a lot of fun, and the women, they get inspired. They get in, in they embrace. Mm -hmm. you know, the change and, and wanting to be involved and be a part of something. Yeah, and, and your special guest this year is Maya Angelou? Yes, yeah, she will be our keynote speaker t this year, right. or and actually next year. Yeah, May 12th of 2009. <laughs> well, what about registration? Is we, there a Our registration is on online now. You can mm -hmm. go and we have an early bird. Um, I forget what the exact date is for the cutoff, mm -hmm. but you can register up to the day of the conference. Okay. I mean, we have a lot of people that w walked in last year and heard about it last minute and said, oh, let me be there. I want to, you know, I want to participate. And there is a small admission fee. There is. Okay. Um, I believe it's $150, okay. which covers, you know, everything at the conference. Mm -hmm. There are rooms that have been set aside at some of the local hotels. So if anyone wants to, they can go to our website and we have the contact information for the hotels there. And is that cocktail party on May, tw uh, May 11th, is yes. that open to everyone as well? Open to everyone as well. Who's ever down there who wants to participate is more than welcome to participate with and us. Really, this is all about networking. It Women is. networking here in New Jersey. Talk to us about the importance of that. We are phenomenal networkers. We network every single day in everything that we do. And you don't think about it because it's just a part of our daily lives. Whether it's when we're picking up our kids at school, we're going to the grocery store, right. you know, it's all about making those contacts. And this is a great place to have 1,500 women mm -hmm. at one time just to have a conversation with. And what age ranges are we looking at here? Oh, there's from probably late teens up through retirees you'll see in attendance at this conference. Really? So it's something that, let's say, a mom at home is watching. She has a teenage daughter mm -hmm. or perhaps a daughter in college right now, yes. and she wants to just get her out there, get her networking, and meeting other great women in the state of New Jersey. It's a good idea. I plan on bringing my, my college-age daughter with me. So. And has she been there before? No, she's missed because she was in school, but now she's in college. She'll be done with her classes and can actually participate this year. Excellent. Well, I mean, it sounds like a great program. How long does it take to plan something like this? We start planning about a year in advance. Okay. Um, one, booking the place and then talking to the keynote speakers and then setting up the sessions. It, yeah. It's a work in progress and it's, you know, we do it in addition to everything else that we do. Excellent. Well, thank you for joining us here on Comcast Newsmakers. Thank Best you. of luck to you. Maybe I'll see you down at the conference. Sounds great. This hour's newsmaker has been Janice Kovach, Director of the Department of Community Affairs Division on Women, and I'm Jamie Lindrohan for Comcast Newsmakers, seen exclusively here on Comcast Cable. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.